Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to explain part 198 of Java for Tester series. That is finally. So what is finally? Finally is a block. Finally is nothing but a block. It is a block. It looks something like this. Finally like this okay finally is nothing but a block guys uh, it looks something like that it has some starting curly brace and ending curly brace so how to use finally then how to use finally how to use finally block finally block has to be used with something known as try catch blocks okay we have to use finally blocks with we have to use this finally block with try catch blocks okay how to use finally block with try catch block? Let me show you. So try block will look something like this. We have to use catch block along with the try block, exception E. This is the catch block. And along with this try catch block, we can use finally like this. Okay. So finally block. Finally is nothing but a block. And it has to be and it has to be used with try catch blocks. Okay. Finally is nothing but a block and it has to be used with try catch blocks fine so what actually this finally block does okay when you use this finally block with try catch blocks what will happen so guys there may be some situations where okay some statement will be there here some piece of code will be there here right this statement may or may not result in an exception okay the statement inside this uh, try try block may or may not result in an exception if, a, if an exception is coming, what will happen, guys? If an exception is triggered by this statement inside the try block, this catch block will be invoked, right? If there is an exception in the statement of the try block, the catch block will be invoked and executed. What if there is no exception triggered by this statement? In that case, this catch block will be skipped, right? This is what is going to happen in real time. But if you use finally, what will happen is, irrespective of whether this catch block is getting executed or not, okay? Irrespective of whether this catch block is executed or not, this finally block will be executed, okay? Finally block will always be executed, will always be executed, okay? Here, the catch block will be executed only when there is an exception in this try, try block statement, right? The catch block will be executed only when there is an exception triggered by one of the statements in the try block. Otherwise, this catch block will not be executed. But coming to the finally block, irrespective of whether we get an exception or not in the try block, this finally block is going to be executed, okay? This is how finally block is different from the catch block. And when used with try catch blocks, this finally block will be executed every time. Irrespective of the, whether there is an exception or not, this finally block will be executed every time. So let me practically demonstrate how to use finally block with this try catch blocks in Java, okay? So guys, uh, we have a Java project and we have this uh, sample class and uh, main method here. And inside this, I'm going to write down the try catch finally blocks, fine. So let's write it. So int a is equal to some 10, b is equal to some six, okay? Now I'm going to write some statement like uh, int c is equal to a by b. Okay, int c is equal to a by b. Finally, system dot out dot print ln. The value stored. Otherwise, I will say the end of the program. Okay, I'll write some statement the end of the program. Fine. Now, guys, if this value of b is six, there's no problem. Ten divided by six, nothing. There's no problem. But what if I give this value of b as zero? In that case, 10 by zero will give an exception here. So to make sure that uh, the exception is handled properly, I will surround this particular statement inside the try block, okay? There are two possibilities. I can change the value of B here. Let's assume that I can change the value of B here, okay? I can give any value, either I can give five, six or anything or zero also I can give, okay? So if I give zero, this will result in an arithmetic exception as we already know. Okay, here catch block will be there, catch exception E. 
here i will say system dot out dot print ln inside catch block i will say okay exception got handled and inside catch block exception got handled inside catch block here i will write before this statement get, gets executed i'll write system dot out dot print ln inside try block okay inside try block after that this particular statement will be executed then catch block here i will use another block known as finally along with this try catch block i am going to use finally block guys okay if you want you can give spaces also guys there's no problem okay like this you can give spaces to make it look good we can give some spaces fine and finally i will write system dot out dot print ln this block will be executed irrespective of any exception in try block this which block this finally block will be executed irrespective of any exception in the try block okay then after that after all this thing this end of the program will be printed fine so guys let's run this let's run this and see what will happen right click run as java application before running just let me tell you here c is equal to a by b 10 by 5 okay this will not result in any any exception okay here no exception will come there is no exception going to be triggered out out of the statement what what if there is no exception if there is no exception in the try block this catch block will be skipped guys simply the catch block will be skipped will the finally block will also be skipped the answer is no okay even though there is an exception or no exception in the try block this finally block will be executed at any cost okay irrespective of the ex exception displayed in try or try block okay irrespective of whether the exception is coming or not in the try block okay the finally block will be executed at any cost so let's run this and see whether that is happening or so inside try block first okay we went inside the try block then this particular statement got executed and there is no exception resulting out of this particular statement and catch block will be skipped as you can see exception got handled is not printed here that means catch block got skipped and finally block got executed guys this finally block will be executed irrespective of any exception in the try block that means this finally block got executed irrespective of the exception in the there's no exception in the try block still the finally block got executed okay but catch block got skipped and at the end the end of the program got printed that's fine what if there is an exception what if i give the value of b as zero what will happen this time will the finally block be executed or not here we get an exception right this statement will result in an arithmetic exception because the value of b is zero and a is 10 if you are trying to divide any particular number by zero in java it will give you arithmetic exception so we are going to this is an exception guys okay this is an exception we are going to get an exception guys okay in this statement since the exception is coming in this uh, try block the catch block will be executed okay exception got handled inside catch block will be printed will finally block will also be executed or not yes it will be still be executed guys okay in case of exception in the try block also this finally block will be executed okay so let's see whether that is happening as I explained or not right click run as job application first inside try block and this statement has uh, resulted in an arithmetic exception and it has invoked the catch block the statement inside the catch block got executed ex exception got handled inside catch block got uh, printed here then finally will also be executed finally block will be executed irrespective of any exception in inside try block okay and the end of the program so guys hope you understood now how this finally block works along with the try catch block if you use finally whether we get an exception in the try block or not this finally block will be executed guys okay it will always be executed that's how the finally block works in java but what is the purpose guys why we have to use finally okay what is the purpose why we want such kind of block of code which actually execute every time irrespective of the getting exception or not getting an exception this final is getting final block is getting executed so why why such kind of block exists in java okay what is the purpose of this finally block okay so generally this finally block is used to clear or close clear or close the instances okay suppose you create some object for something okay if you create some object for one of the class in java then in finally we generally use that finally block to close that particular object okay clear the memory allocated to for that object once the once the task is done 
the memory in the memory the object memory space will be stayed like that only okay the object memory space will stay like that only for a long period of time instead of that thing happening as a good practice of coding what we generally do is okay if you create instantiate an object for one of the predefined class in java you can close it okay for few of the predefined classes we can close them let me show you with one example guys okay so let me clear out all this stuff i'll say i'll write this program guys based on this you will understand the purpose of the finally block file file is equal to new file okay and import this file predefined class and here let me give the path of this file so let's say there is a one file abc.txt file in this particular location in my system you can have any other file in your machine also if you want to try this out abc.txt is a file okay now what i'll do is file reader fr is equal to new sorry uh, i'll write something like this file reader fr is equal to new file reader okay like this i'll write and to this i have to import this file reader first import this file reader predefined class from java.io package after that is done i have to provide this particular file as an input to this uh, file reader constructor okay over the most still an exception is uh, still an error, uh, compiler error is coming it's saying unhandled exception checked exception is coming okay so i would prefer adding surrounding this particular statement with try catch block statement surround with try catch okay file reader fr is equal to new file reader okay if there is an exception here it will print this uh, print, print stack trace now to this along with this what i will do is i will add something like this finally okay this fr here you see new file reader means an object got created guys okay in the computer memory an object got created for this file reader class and some memory is allocated for this right some memory is allocated for this so once we are done with the program we want to close that particular memory okay so we want to clear out that memory or close the object created for this uh, file reader class so for that there is a command known as fr dot but i am not able to use fr because the scope of this fr is up to this try block only okay i have to make this uh, fr a uh, bit outside the try catch block so i will take this outside okay so here uh, i will not define again fr file reader fr is equal to fr is equal to new file now i can access fr guys okay inside the final layer also i can access the object reference of this file reader you see there is a close command this close command will 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 close the clear the memory allocated for this object of this file reader class okay once the task is done we are closing the memory simply okay we are clearing or closing the memory so i am not going to handle this exception instead i am going to say add throws declaration for now to ignore this particular exception still i am getting an error guys uh, we have to initialize the variable okay here file reader fr is kind of not initialized okay i have to initialize it it's giving me the error saying that you have to initialize if you select this is equal to null will be added okay you can manually also add it okay fr is equal to null you can have to add to initialize this fr fine so things are good fine so there is a problem also coming guys okay i will i will tell you that later for now just understand it at a high level right uh, just understand it at a high level for now that is inside the try block we have this fr is equal to new file reader okay this particular statement may or may not result in an exception okay this file if the file path of this particular file is correct okay if it exists okay if this particular file path really exists of this particular file really exists then this particular statement is not going to give an exception since the path given is correct here in this particular case no exception is going to be triggered okay no exception is going to come so run it right click run as java application you see no exception will come guys nothing got printed because i have to add something here i will system dot out dot print ln i will say inside uh, try block i will say uh, here i will say system dot out dot print ln inside catch block here i will say system dot out dot print ln inside finally block so just get some output in the output when i run this program and just adding this print statements right click run as job application so first inside try block since there is no exception here catch block got skipped but finally will be executed at any cost so inside finally block what's happening here is the object created for this file uh, new file reader is closed here guys okay 
the object created for this file reader is closed here so this is a good practice guys in programming it's a good practice to close the objects once you are done with that as you have to close the objects of this particular classes for which you have created the objects okay so for that finally block is suitable that's the reason we have to, that's the purpose of the finally block is to close the objects created for the one few of the predefined classes in java okay we can use finally block fine since the finally block will be every time executed we can rely on it because at any cost it's going to close the object what if there is an exception coming here that means i am just changing the file path here i will say xyz so here file path is not correct so file reader will result in an exception okay when exception is coming what happen guys the catch block will be invoked the first thing is that catch block will be invoked if the exception is thrown the catch block will be invoked and this particular inside catch block will be i'll remove this uh, i'll say exception got handled got uh, handled uh, inside catch block okay inside catch block i'll write so even after the exception is coming still the finally block will be executed guys catch block will be executed at same time finally block will also be executed so in this case in this case what will happen guys since the exception is coming here the catch block will be invoked and the statement exception got handled inside catch block will be printed then coming to the finally block okay inside finally block will be printed but here another exception will come guys for that clause because this fr is null since there is an exception in this uh, try block since there is an exception in this try block this object has not been created and assigned to this but you are trying to close it okay so to overcome such kind of problem guys let me show you that whether the exception is coming or not once the exception is coming i'll uh, uh, show you the code for resolving that okay so right click run as job application inside try block first okay first inside try block got printed then the exception has been thrown from this uh, file reader second statement inside the try block once the exception is thrown the catch block got invoked and uh, inside ex uh, inside catch block we have the statement exception got handled inside catch block got printed that's fine and finally inside finally block we also went to the finally block but by the time when we are uh, when this fr dot close is getting executed it has resulted in some null point exception because you are tr trying to close an object which doesn't have any object itself the reason here is initially file reader fr is equal to null is set to null no object it fr is not set to any object in the memory right but here when the exception occurred this statement has not executed properly okay exception has been thrown nothing has been assigned to this fr that means still null is there to this null assigned null is assigned still to the fr since null is assigned to this fr and you are trying to close you are going to get an exception like null point x null pointer kind of exception you are going to get to overcome that problem what we have to do is we have to keep a condition here if fr is not equal to null if fr is not equal to null then only then only close the object reference okay close the object or clear the memory allocated to the object in the computer memory otherwise don't clear okay if the uh, if uh, fr is still null there is no need of fr dot close right so that's the condition i kept here okay so if i run this this time the exception will be cleared it out inside try block exception got handled that is catch block got invoked because the exception has come here this got executed once the catch block is executed finally has come then inside finally block got executed since fr is still null fr dot close doesn't get will not get executed okay but if there is no exception in that case guys this finally block will close the fr okay close the object memory allocated to this fr okay if not if not the finally will be executed but this will not be closed okay something like this so like this guys you can actually write this kind of programs in java where you can use finally block which will actually be executed irrespective of whether the exception is thrown here or not okay at any cost at any cost we are now clear that uh, this uh, object for the fr will be closed okay at any cost this is going to happen because finally block is going to be executed irrespective of whether there is an exception or not in the try block okay fine so this is how guys we have to use finally block uh, in java which can be used with try catch blocks uh, and it will be executed every time irrespective of whether there is an exception in the try block or not coming to the catch block it will only be in, in coming to the catch block it will be only ex executed when there is an exception in the try block but coming to the finally irrespective of whether there is an exception in the try block the finally block will be executed okay so that's it guys uh, in the next video session i'll explain the difference between the final and finally okay the final versus finally i'll be explaining in the next video session so that's it guys See you in the next video session. Thank you.
Bye.